Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Viper Mini from Razer. Coming in at an incredibly lightweight 61 grams and aimed directly at speed with its ambidextrous design and a few other features we'll get into here a little bit later, the Viper Mini is also one of Razer's most affordable mice at just $40. So let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So as its name would allude to, the Viper Mini is a scaled down version of the Viper and Viper Ultimate. And at just 61 grams, it is incredibly lightweight, really easy to use. And to add to the easy to use design, um, Razer's also included the Speedflex cable here that we've seen like on the Death Adder V2 and the Basilisk V2. And then also the 100% PTFE feet down here to make it much smoother when you're using it on a mouse pad. In addition to those features, the Viper Mini also has six programmable buttons. So this is less than the Viper and the Viper Ultimate. And obviously you'll see it has the two mouse buttons. It has the two side buttons, the scroll wheel, which can be uh, pressed in, and then also a DPI switch button up top here. And that's just a single button that will cycle you through all the different DPI stages, which you can set within Razer Synapse 3. And of course, the Viper Mini also has some of the Razer Chroma RGB built in. So you can see on the back here, it has the three-headed snake logo. And then also, I think they call it underglow or underbody uh, RGB lights down here, uh, which is just at the back of the mouse. Um, so you can see a little bit down there. And those are both a single zone, so those will change color together. Another feature we've seen in some more recent mice is the ability to store different profiles on board, which you can switch without having to plug into a computer to, you know, operate it with the Razer Synapse software. But with the Viper Mini, there's only one profile, so you can obviously plug it and set that, but you can't change any settings on it uh, without plugging it in and using Synapse 3. Razer came out with a bunch of new technology for mice last year, including the optical mouse switches and also the Focus Plus sensor. Uh, the Viper Mini does incorporate those optical switches, but they're a little bit different than what's in some of the other mice. It's supposed to give a little bit more of a mechanical feel to it, um, but still has the fast response time, which to me is kind of imperceptible. But then it also has the increased durability. Uh, these are rated to 50 million clicks, which I think the other mice are more of a standard like 70 million clicks, which is a ton of you know durability and action on these things. But then the optical switches also highly reduce or I think even eliminate the possibility of there being an accidental double click, uh, which is an issue that some people have had with uh, more traditional mechanical switches. So that's something that Razer has been working to eliminate with these new optical switches. And then it seems like one area where Razer was able to cut down the cost on the Viper Mini was with the sensor. Um, so it does not feature the brand new Focus Plus 20,000 DPI sensor, or even the previous 16,000 uh, 5G sensor. On the Viper Mini, we have an 8,500 DPI uh, optical sensor, which, you know, is still probably plenty for most people. I mean, I game at 400 DPI, so I'm not getting anywhere near that max range, but it doesn't have that same max speed via IPS or max acceleration sensing as the 5G sensor and then also the brand new Focus Plus sensor. So while it is very lightweight, very small and easy to use, I do still feel like the Viper Mini is a little bit too small for my hand. Razer suggests the Viper Mini for gamers with small to medium hands and even has a chart with different size ranges for what they deem small, medium, or large hands. Razer also describes three different grip styles, including palm, claw, and fingertip. The difference between these is basically um, how your fingers curl when you're uh, gripping your mouse and where your fingers land on the switches because of that. Razer suggests a claw or fingertip grip style for the Viper Mini, which I think is another reason why I don't really feel like it fits my hand as well, because I think I typically use more of a kind of a cross between palm and claw. Uh, I really haven't paid that close attention to it to really see uh, where, I, where I stand. But based on what I can tell, that would be closer to the position that my hand is in when I'm using a mouse for gaming. But overall, I think that the Viper Mini is a great new addition to Razer's mouse lineup. At just $40, it's a small, incredibly lightweight option at 61 grams that is also much more affordable than its larger relatives. The standard Viper comes in at $80, while the Viper Ultimate is $150. So, you know, based on that, the Viper Mini is a really great deal for a brand new mouse with some of the new optical mouse switches built in here, and it's incredibly lightweight design. So what do you think of the Viper Mini? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.